Good morning, I'm Clinton Griffiths. Ukraine is warning the Black Sea Grain Initiative is in danger of being shut down. That's after Russia blocked inspections of ships taking part in the deal in Turkish waters. Ag Day's Michelle Rook joins us with an update. Clinton, Russia said last week an extension of the Black Sea Grain deal after May 18th was not looking positive. The country has continued to reiterate the need to improve conditions for exports of its grains and fertilizers. Plus, Russia wants a change in credit policies to allow the use of SWIFT. Market analysts believe this may be more than saber rattling. I think this next time is going to be different. And the reason is Russia put out their demands, you know, and said they want back in the SWIFT uh, payment system and they want, you know, to guarantee that Ukraine is not going to be NATO and they're not going to get either of those demands met. So I think that deal is going to get shut down. And in fact, he thinks Russia will continue to stop grain inspections while fighting escalates into mid-May. Meanwhile, Ukraine is also seeking the reopening of the grain transit via Poland in talks Monday in Warsaw. The Ag Ministry there saying it comes after Poland and Hungary announced bans on some imports from Ukraine last week to protect their farmers who have staged protests in recent months due to the crashing prices for their product. Those countries have the right to, to get upset about that much grain coming over their border. Um, the EU is saying that they don't have the right to make those trade decisions. Um, and so I don't know how that conflict's going to go. It just sounds like a political mess for a while. Um, longer term, you know, the bulk of the bulk of the products got to come south through Odessa, and, and that's what's probably going to get shut down. So Poland's ban on grains went into effect Saturday evening and is set to last until the end of June. It also applies to transit through the country. On Monday, Slovakia took similar action to temporarily halt grain imports and other selected products from Ukraine. That's despite a warning from the EU that the action is unacceptable and would go against the bloc's trade policies.